Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a zine haul. So you may have seen a couple of my reviews. Uh, my library is starting a zine collection and we're closed and the whole pandemic's going on. So we're not in the library. So I was able to actually snag all the ones we bought and I've been going through them. I need to make a library guide for them and uh, just kind of get a feel for the, the collection we bought. Um, so this was purchased by me and three other librarians. So some of this haul I purchased but uh, the rest of it, I have no idea what's here. So I've unboxed a bunch of it. I got a bunch of it behind me. So I'm gonna do a couple haul videos just to kind of show they're quite eclectic. Um, I wonder if you'll be able to like think about like, I wonder if the same person's picking these and I wonder if the same person's picking these. And, but anyways, there was four librarians that have been picking them. I had this original idea where I'm like, I'm gonna review them all and there are hundreds of them. So that's not gonna happen. So I decided to make a couple haul videos and then I'm going to read the ones I really wanna read and then I'll review those. So I think I reviewed like 10 before I was like, this, this is too much, I can't do this. So anyways, I have not gone through these. I, I'll let you know if I think I'm the one who purchased one of these, um, but uh, I don't know. So far the ones I've seen are not the ones I purchased. So we'll, we'll see here. But I already unboxed them, they're sitting next to me here and I'm just gonna kind of go through them and we'll just see what's here. But anyways, hopefully this is fun. So the first one is Simple Steps to a Life Less Shitty by Adam Gnade, Gnade. Um, you should see that right there. Uh, it says it's a continuation of work started with his do-it-yourself guide to fighting the big motherfucking sad. Um, this is a new pamphlet in a series, pep talks and how the ones to dealing with the overwhelming bullshit of modern life. So from list keeping as a survival skill to battling sleep anxiety, finding a wild heart inside you to kicking your lifelong depression in half like a cheap ceramic statue. These tips, lists and essays show a path towards a better, smarter, freer life. So anyways, uh, I definitely like the title, so that one's pretty funny. Um, this one says, my complicated relationship with food. Um, grade F meat, ingredients, mostly circus animals, some filler, um, reviews of some of the things we put in our mouths, volume two. So um, I may have bought this one. So I do, one of the areas I cover is um, agriculture, which is where like food science would be in that. But I, I think I bought this one, um, I think. It sounds familiar. So so I feel like if some of these sound familiar, I probably bought them. If not, I didn't. I will say there's a there's a, definitely a couple books in here. And I think what they are is that they were very successful zines that were then um, compiled and published kind of on a mass scale. And I think that this is one of them. Um, it says the difference between knitting and crocheting, explain the difference between things which are similar, but not the same by Billy McCall. And um, so you can see that here. I'll say in the back, and this is not about knitting and crocheting, by the way. On um, the back it says, what's the difference between a coffin and a casket? Um, wasn't uh, Buffalo Bill and Wild Bill the same person? Does Ice Cube hate cops or is that iced tea? This book explains the differences between things we have always that have always confused me. Maybe it'll help you too. So this is more of like a little printed book, but it's all about differences. So that's kind of cool. Um, Ringside, a companion guide to the do-it-yourself guide to fighting the big motherfucking sad. Oh, this is that same guy, Adam um, Gnad. So you can see here, so that'll go along with the uh, the other one there. And I don't, like I said, I don't think I purchased them, but good titles. They're definitely like appealing. Um, here we go. My complicated relationship with food reviews of some of the things we put in our mouths. So here's a different version. So they must, um, oh yeah. So here's volume one. And then here's volume two. So I guess we bought both of them, which makes sense. Like I said, these aren't necessarily in order. And now that I'm looking down, <laughs> this is what a haul is sometimes when you're opening something new. Uh, we also have volume three and volume four. So the whole set, um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I might've bought them because I do cover um, food areas. So let's see what's next. The three days of my life, I will never get back. Oh, I think I remember this one. Um, even if I didn't buy it, I, I do remember this one. I feel like these people were road tripping across the US and um, <laughs> it just was, I don't remember. I just remember like, I feel like I feel like I've seen something about this Reddit, but it's basically like, that was terrible and awful driving across country. And I don't remember if they were moving across country or not, but like, I just remember it was terrible. So if you've ever had a cross country road trip or something, um, 
maybe you can share stories or something, but I feel like that's what this one's about. Um, here's another little book. Uh, let's see, Stolen Sharpie Revolution, a DIY, oh, DIY resource for zines and zine culture. Um, so yeah, so this one makes sense. I feel like we did buy several books that were actually about zines, zine culture, zine history, how to build a zine collection in your library. So I've, this one makes sense. So this is, uh, so yeah, I feel like we had the criteria to buy zines, but if it was zine adjacent, that would help people make them, create them, understand them, we would totally do that too. So the stolen Sharpie revolution. So and a lot of them are made with Sharpies too, so that makes sense. Okay, I totally bought this one. Growing Things, a guide for beginning gardeners. So again, I think I just mentioned that I cover agriculture as one of the areas I cover as a science librarian. And so um, I'm definitely trying to get zines as an assignment in a class. Uh, you know, you can write a paper, you can do presentations, but like, wouldn't it kind of be cool to make a zines? So um, I definitely, I remember buying this one and I also remember buying the next one, which is Squash and Pumpkin, a zine about cooking with squash and pumpkins by Tara Hill. So um, again, I feel like, uh, yes, yeah, some of them are funny, some of them are serious things, but, and, and like, we really want to try to connect them to classes and class assignments. And so I feel like this would be a good to have as a plug, like you can create a zine about a crop, a vegetable, a pesticide, a, you know, a fungus, uh, whatever you want. And that could be one way to present your assignment with research and knowledge and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I do remember I bought these two about uh, the gardening and that and pumpkins and squashes, which is, it's like fall now. So that's perfect. The next one, behind the scenes exclusive, people and their problems, number one issue, celebs, rock stars, exposés by Brian Canyon and Candy Floss. So um, it says, praise for the people and their problems. I'm assuming this is about celebrities. I don't really know, but interesting. Bright, flashy cover. All right, Pops, Parents on Parenting, number one. I didn't buy this, but I totally know which librarian did. So um, I think there's probably, I wouldn't be surprised. I think there's probably a bunch on parenting. That is my guess. <laughs> Field notes on the American Sasquatch, a guide by David Norman. Like, hell yes, this looks awesome and hilarious already. So um, I do hope that that is, uh, I'll definitely read that one. That one's probably worth a good review too. And I very easily could have bought that one. We are in California, so. Um, let's see, Moments of Struggle, an illustrated introduction to some anarchist history. Okay, I didn't buy this, but I know who did. <laughs> um, I feel like there's also a lot of anarchy stuff that'll probably end up in another haul. I don't think it'll be in this one, but I definitely, there's a bunch of anarchy stuff, so. Um, uh, that one's from the UK, so. I do feel like, I definitely know I've seen things we've gotten from England, Australia, um, Europe, and that, so. Um, oh wait, I mixed up that other one. So this one's called, We Made a Huge Mistake, a zine about driving across the country with everything you own. So I don't know what the other one's about then. Cause this one, I definitely, so I remembered something about that in the title, like, so this is them. And I've definitely moved across country and I didn't have everything with me. I, I had stuff shipped with movers, but I did have a car pack. So I do know what it's like to drive across country. So I'm sorry, I must've confused that with the other one, but yeah, we made a mistake and you might relate to them. <laughs> the Family Fun Manual, Volume 4. Rainy day craft projects for when your country has elected a white supremacist who openly brags about sexually assaulting women. Okay. Um, okay, I didn't know about the last part there, but the, the top part there, like the picture's kind of funny. Like you're just expecting like, oh, this is a parenting or something like that. And then people with um, really creative zine titles, like that, ha I mean, that's, genius but I mean it definitely makes you pull it off the um the shelf and so yeah <laughs> um I can I already know who bought this but um uh again it wasn't me like I said I'll try to point out when I, I think I bought them um let's see masculinities interviews by Cindy Crab um I have no idea what this is about this is a big one um a little bit larger than some of the other ones that are usually like five by eight. But yep, it's a standard zine. Like I said, some of these you can tell what they are by the, the covers and some you can't. 
Filling the void, interviews about quitting, drinking, and using. Okay, so this is definitely, um, you know what it is right off the bat. So, uh, cool cover art. It's like a woodblock cut. Um, so I wonder if the inside has a bunch of art too. It's portrayed pretty, I mean, it's presented pretty um, artistically in, but it's not a whole lot of art in there. But anyways, cool. Um, but yeah, we want serious issues in here too. We want students to relate to them. We want students to see themselves in all these zines and, and create zines. That's the other part is we're gonna create zines. Now this one I know I bought, and this is a book. Um, it is not a zine, but it originally started as a zine and several zines and it became so popular. Um, but I really kind of want to read this one. So I hope you've seen this one. How do you talk to how to talk to your cats about gun safety and abstinence, drugs, satanisms, and other dangers that threaten their nine lives? So um, I don't know if you've heard about this one or not, but uh, I definitely knew about it. I had a friend tell me about it and a friend who read it up in Portland. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, but I'm pretty sure it all started as a zine and a couple zines and great title. So how do you talk to your cat about gun safety? I feel like we all need that. Okay, the next one. Um, all I see is it says, ouch, my poor lung. And then uh, it's surrounded by, a, it's like several of them together and it's called, ouch, my poor body, um, a packet of three magic books. So I'm guessing that, ouch, my body, what's the next one? Ouch, my poor foot, and ouch, my poor vagina. So my lungs, foot, and vagina. So it's a three pack. So we'll, uh, I'll, um, I'm gonna leave these on uh, right now just because like I'm trying to keep them in the same, like in the order they came in because they do need to be cataloged, they do need to be processed and that, but, um, Rad Dad 22, a riot parent. So, um, ooh, the back's kind of cool. Um, got a unicorn, got a tricycle on the front, got a unicorn on the back, like the art. Um, pretty tech savvy, not, uh, some art in the inside there, but, um, but yeah, there's, I think there's gonna be a bunch of parenting ones. Um, let's see, Your Black Friend by Ben Passmore. Let's see, Your Black Friend is an open letter from your black friend to you about race, racism, friendship, and alienation. This is published in San Francisco, so not terribly far away at all. Actually, it was printed in Oakland, but it from, comes from San Francisco. Um, pretty short. Oh, it's, it's all, um, oh, it's all in color. It kind of looks like a comic. Um, but yeah, all in color. That's pretty rare. I feel like most of them are all just black and white, so I'll check that one out. Mutual Fire Brigade. And there's nothing else on there, so I have no idea what this is about. Oh, uh, just reading the first sentence. Uh, Mid-2018 smokes from hellfires of the southern, um, uh, in California. Um, yeah, so uh, we've had some way too close wildfires. And yesterday I couldn't even open my windows again because the air quality was so bad with the smoke and haze and... Th th that only lasted like a day. Today's a little bit better. Um, but man, there's a couple weeks there. Like I could not open my windows, had heavy air purifiers going. Like it was just, ugh, it was just choking. And it was just looked like the Martian orange sky out there. But anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, Red Dead 23, making family. Um, I wonder if we, I'm sure we probably didn't get them all only because my guess is a lot of times when there's such a long series is that maybe, maybe we could only get in the twenties or that because the other ones aren't printed anymore. Um, mentor, a zine about female role models. So. Oh, that one's in color too. They don't all have to be in color. I'm just surprised when I see them. It's down to this. Reflections, stories, and experiences, critiques, and ideas on community and collective response to sexual violence, abuse, and accountability. That's a pretty thick one too. Um, check it. There's a little snag there on the, um, one of the staples there. Um, the backs, ooh, that's hard to read. I am not, okay, I'm not gonna try to read the back there. It's pretty, it's part of the artwork, which can be pretty hard to, I just look at a little closer there. But yeah, you're gonna see all sorts of topics in here. Um, it's down to this number two. Okay, so these go together. Okay, so this is the second um, compilation to the first one, to the first scene. The artwork on here is amazing. Um, 
yeah, it's pretty cool. But a lot shorter than the, the first one there. So we'll check them out. Writing for Two, Monica Johnson. Oh, this one's, oh, this one, this one's cool. Um, I say that because like, it's, it's almost like on like watercolor paper and it really does seem like actual art watercolor paper. And then the inside is actually all yellow paper and it's full of, um, the whole thing is like artwork in that. So cool. I don't know what it's about, but well, wait, writing for two. They look pregnant. So, okay. Maybe that makes sense. So again, I didn't look at these beforehand, so I don't really know what they are. So apologies. Um, this one is, um, hashtag accept us, hashtag not kill us. So, um, on the back it says ACP alternatives to calling police during mental health crises. So very, oh, I'll read this one. Um, we got some problems in America. I've had them for a long time. So this is a pretty large size zine too. I will say like most zines I've come across in our stash here are the like eight by five, about that size, eight by five standard or eight and a half by five. Um, but there are definitely some bigger ones. This one, the one before it is kind of a, uh, um, yeah, there's some unique shapes there. So. We're gonna have to get some sleeves in that for them and um, get them sleeved and protected. Uh, the bigger ones aren't so bad. It's when there's like these little tiny ones that it's super hard to, you wanna make sure they don't get lost. You wanna make sure they're usable, but you wanna make sure they last for a while when you have them in the collection and they can circulate. So anyways, that's the first haul. I've got a ton more to go and I got a whole bunch of stack here on the bottom. I haven't even opened the packages yet. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know if you're interested in reading any of them or um, I'll, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to list all of them below, but if you want me to, or if you have a question, throw it in the comments and I'll, I'll try to give you more information or who the author is, or if I didn't say it out loud, or, and some of them didn't have it on the outside, so I apologize for that. Anyways, hope you thought this was a fun video. I think it's a great collection we're starting here. You can see that like the four librarians have very different tastes and very different um, areas that we were looking to collect in. So hopefully it was fun. Anyways, there'll be a couple more of this, but uh, have a great day, keep reading.